Hi guys! I'm back today to talk about all the different White King tips. So I wrote an article, a blog article about this because um, I thought that it's harder than it should be to get a really good scope of all the cane tips out there for a white or long cane like this one. So to start with, um, the marshmallow tip. The marshmallow tip, and here's a picture. Um, it is shaped like a marshmallow, but it is solid nylon like most of the tips I'm going to be reviewing. And um, if you've never had a cane before, nylon is its a pretty tough material. So the marshmallow tip is shaped like a marshmallow, but don't worry, it's not soft or anything at all. It's a pretty common tip, so um, there's a version of this called the marshmallow roller. Almost the same tip, except this one rolls from side to side. A little bit like this tip right here rolls. Um, if you can possibly see relative to the cane, so at a sort of 90 degree angle to the cane. And uh, the marshmallow is pretty popular because it's a little bit bigger than um, a pencil tip, which is like this. Um, and marshmallow is big enough that it doesn't get stuck in as many cracks, and you have a little bit less issues getting around with it. So um, to review the marshmallow and the marshmallow roll at the same time, the main difference between the two is obviously marshmallow is for more a two-point touch, which is tapping, whereas the marshmallow roller tip is really more for a constant contact, just sweeping along the ground and keeping it on the ground all the time. And both of these are super popular in both those, those categories. So um, after doing all my research on these, I'd recommend these two tips if you're in a more urban area. Um, the marshmallow without the rolling is probably better for slightly more bumpy sidewalks, areas like that, and even probably a little bit of outdoor terrain, whereas the marshmallow roller is definitely better for really indoors, um, nicer sidewalks. There's better options if you have really bumpy sidewalks, large cracks, or if you're going outside from the marshmallow roller. But again, both these tips are super popular. Now third up is the pencil tip. The pencil tip is shaped almost exactly like it sounds. It has the same circumference and width as the cane itself, so it's kind of round, and the, <clears throat> the tip of the pencil tip is rounded. It's not uh, flat, like just a flat end of the cylinder. And this is a pretty standard tip. This is a tip that comes with a lot of canes if you're not really specifying what tip you want originally. Now this is really the lightest tip, or at least one of the lightest tips, and because of that it, it is really common. So the pencil tip in my opinion is something really for indoor, urban areas. Um, I have a pencil tip but I haven't used it extensively, but for me I think it gets stuck in cracks a little bit more than I want it to, especially because the places I live don't necessarily have the best pavement going for them. But if you're looking for something just light and easy to travel with, perhaps you're not using the cane all the time, uh, and you just need something that's a little bit easier to carry around, pencil tip is definitely the route you want to go. Now, next up is the ball. So the ball tip is probably one of the larger, bulkier tips. It's, um, again, exactly what it sounds like. It's just a big ball and it rolls. I have seen some that do not roll, um, but they're, they're really uncommon. Um, the ball tip it rolls just like all the other tips, so uh, again for an example, about 90 degree angle to the cane, and this is um, coming up next, don't worry, like like this. And so the ball is heavy to the point that um, if you're looking for something to use as both constant contact and two point touch, it's not really going to work for that. It's better as just a constant contact. But the benefits of its big bulkiness is that it does cracks really well, it can handle more out to terrain. And again, this is not a tip that I have personally tried out. But um, it's also, from what I can see, and I will post an excellent in-depth review of this tip below, but it looks like it goes really well, and so if you're really just looking for a constant contact and you want it to be able to go almost anywhere you might want to go, this is probably a great tip. But because it is heavier and bulkier, it's not so much on the traveling. If you're not using a cane full-time, or if you want a telescoping cane, this is not the tip that's going to work out for you. Um, next up is the jumbo roller, and so that is the tip that I have right here with me. Um, I actually have an in-depth review um, on this channel, so check that out if you want better details. But as a brief overview, it's a little bit between the marshmallow roller and the ball, 
Um, this tip is not very, very common, but I like it a lot. It's my personal everyday cane. Um, and, and like being between the marshmallow and the ball, it can handle relatively large cracks and it does pretty well. Um, this is definitely a constant contact cane, but I think that it is possible to use it as a two-point touch. If you're strong though, um, because it is a little bit heavier of a tip. Um, but I definitely recommend this tip if you're living in a more urban or suburban area. Um, but this tip is not well designed for outdoor terrain, even, even grass, even flat grass. Um, it immediately starts to get stuck. Um, after that is the metal glide. So the metal glide is a very popular tip along with the ceramic. I believe the ceramic is perhaps the most popular tip. So these two are very similar. Um, the metal glide is one that I have and I, I do like it but I don't use it very often. It's really more of a two-point touch cane and Ambutex has it's only a two-point touch cane but when you're in an indoor smooth surface, I think that you could use it as a constant contact. In fact, when using it, for example, on just a gymnasium floor or something, it's actually really smooth and feels really good in your hand. Um, it has it's round and it's flat, um, kind of kind of coin shaped, but a little bit thicker than a coin, of course. Um, and it's it it doesn't get stuck very much because of that kind of rounded shape, and it bounces really easily back and forth when you're walking. Um, so I definitely recommend this if you're looking for something lighter than the marshmallow um, but that won't get stuck as much as the pencil and also still kind of has that small light nature. So if you're looking for something perhaps with a telescoping cane, um, this is a great tip to go with um, along with the ceramic. Um, and so the ceramic is a little bit similar, it's bell shaped and it has uh, a kind of black band around it. Uh, this is not a tip I currently have, but I definitely want to try it out just because it is so popular. Um, like the Metal Glide, because of its shape, it gets stuck and cracks less than the pencil tip. So these two tips are very, very similar, um, and they're great two-point touch options. And I believe that um, these are probably the, the better with the marshmallow for kind of more outdoor terrain. But since they are smaller, they can they can do much. So there's a lot of nuance between all these two-point touch canes, in fact all the canes, but I'd say that these in particular all have their various strengths. Um, so now I'm going to start talking about kind of the more fun, exciting, um, rarer ones. So the flex tip is a tip that's, again, a little bit bell-shaped. It, it to me kind of looks like a funnel, but it, like a very thick funnel, like you cut it off halfway through from the tiny tip, right? So you cut off the, the smaller half of the funnel. Um, and it is a little bit bulky and it has a flexible neck attached to the cane so that it bounces over bumpy surfaces better than some of the other canes. So this is definitely one that's more for outdoor. This is a little bit of a special cane, so I've never tried it out, but I, I would assume that it takes probably a little bit of trying out to get used to. But if you're in a place with a lot of um, Probably, probably less cracked surfaces, but maybe a bit more bumpy. So if you have, you know, cobbles or something like that, this cane, to me at least, looks like it would do well in that situation. Up next is the Rover Freewheeling Tip. So the Rover Freewheeling Tip, to me, is one of the coolest looking tips that someday I really want to look on my wish list. Um, it's basically a small rubber tire, almost. Uh, it's kind of what it reminds me of. And it looks um, at, that the... Um, tip itself is kind of fixed in place, so you, it's not really made for much sweeping, um, but pushing forward. Um, and unfortunately with these a little bit more um, extraneous tips, it's hard to get good information about them. There's really few sources, but I will post um, a list of all these tips below, everything I can find on them. But um, it's definitely one of those more terrain tips. And to me, this looks something that if you're going on trails in wooded areas, I think this tip would do much better. Um, and I think that despite the kind of thinner shape, I think that on a beach or gravel or something, this tip might be a little bit stronger than um, some of the other ones. But definitely, like, absolutely, this is a constant contact tip. And I wouldn't really recommend this if you are completely blind. Um, I don't. This tip, to me at least, does not look like it gives you enough feedback for that. Um, now the Dakota Disc. The Dakota Disc was actually specifically designed by Ambutech for outdoor terrain. And this is, to me, a really great option. Grass, sand, um, 
hills, things like that. So it's kind of shaped like a flying saucer and it's attached to the middle to the cane, um, but the tip itself kind of wobbles. Well, not necessarily wobbles, but for example, if you're going up a hill, the tip will bend relative to the cane to stay parallel with that hill. Um, and I think this tip is really great if you're if you're really traveling and like I said, beachy areas. Of all the tips, this looks the best for a sandy area. Um, it's definitely a cool one. Um, it does look big and bulky, but it is still relatively light for its size. So definitely check that out if you're trying to go outdoor. Finally is the Bundu Basher. So the Bundu Basher is probably the least common of all the tips. Um, uh, it's not available off of Ambutech, which I know is one of the larger distributors of canes, but it is still possible to get it in the United States, and I will um, link a great article about the Moody Basher uh, down below. So it's shaped a little bit like, um, I think of a U, where both sides of the U are bent outward at 120 degrees angles, and the bottom part of the U is flat, and then um, it is attached to the cane, one, one side of the U is just you know, attached to the cane almost the same way that a pencil tip would be attached to the cane. Um, this is another outdoor terrain area. It's really great for um, very rural. Um, and there are some excellent pictures in the article that I will post that kind of give you a really good example of how you use it. Um, you, you sweep it along the ground in a snake-like fashion. It gets less stuck in underbrush, um, fences, things like that because of its shape. Um, so, if you're, if you're living, you know, in a farm area, and it is definitely more difficult to get a cane that works for you in those situations, go with this tip. It looks great um, to me. Um, and this tip was actually designed in South Africa. So I've never been to South Africa, but perhaps this tip would be even better designed for that kind of terrain. Thank you for watching this video. Below I will post the link to my blog article, which goes into really good depth about all the different tips. Um, if you want to look at any of the specific tips, I will also post um, the link to my review of the Jumbo Roller specifically and reviews to other tips that I have found helpful below. Um, and I will also post Ambutech's list of cane tips because Ambutech does have some relatively good descriptions of all the tips that they carry. And um, everything else I'm, I mentioned in this video, everything will be posted below. I hope that this video helped you out and I will see you guys next time.